Well, veterans from the Vietnam War are going to court in a new battle to receive recognition for their role in the Battle of Long Tan. Lieutenant Colonel Harry Smith says his men were denied medals and bravery awards. He says the honours system was manipulated in favour of the higher ranks who were far from the action. Joining us now is Seven News reporter Nick McCallum from 3AW in Melbourne and Michael Smith from 2UE in Sydney. Nick, should these diggers be forced to go to court to get recognition for what they did in, in a battle that I guess almost defined Australian diggers as well in the Vietnam War? The short answer is, Mark, no, is no, of course they shouldn't have to go to court. These guys have been screwed over twice politically. At the time, in the 60s and 70s, their bravery was overshadowed by the political debate back home as to whether we should be in Vietnam in the first place. And ever since, it's also been overshadowed by the politics on the actual battlefield. In Vietnam, there were 726 awards granted, only 22, only 22 went to privates. Most of those awards went to higher ranks and of course the higher the rank, generally the further away from the battlefield. These guys, whichever way you look at it, whether you supported the Vietnam War or not, the long tan battle, these guys' bravery was incredible. 108 Australians took on 3,000 Viet Cong. Their bravery should be recognised by medals right now. Let's forget about the court cases. Let's just give it to them. Yeah, exactly. Michael, how, how come we're digging in? How, why has it got to this stage, do you think? Well, precisely the reason that uh, Nick just mentioned, that the bosses, the generals, look after themselves. They get together in clubs, they put each other forward for orders and decorations and those sorts of things. And the men who fight the battles are left behind. Harry Smith is just a great example of what you would like an Aussie digger, an Aussie officer, a leader of men to be. Even all these years after Vietnam, Harry Smith is still engaged, not for himself, but for the men that he led on the, battle sh on the battlefield and for the men that he left behind. In particular, one of his uh, national servicemen subalterns, a second lieutenant, Gordon Sharp, who, who was killed in action and received no recognition for him or his family for his bravery on the battlefield. And that compares with some of the awards, like I mentioned in dispatches for the bloke who ran the postal unit at the uh, rest and recreation uh, camp. Those sorts of things stick in the craw mm. of blokes who have sacrificed so much on the battlefield. Harry Smith is absolutely right to be keeping up the fight here. He, he's doing it um, for, his, uh, for his troops and he's an inspiration. That is what real leadership, I reckon, is all about. Spot on. Well said, boys. Uh, moving